the Faculty Center for Teaching and Learning, a la carte. I often think about a class. It was the worst class I'd ever taken. And it was not a large group of students, 200 people in an auditorium. It was a small group of 20, 20 students. And the professor never bothered to get to know our names, never bothered to get to know us, and he had the opportunity to do so. I lost my motivation to come to class, I lost my motivation to learn, and actually I came with a lot of apathy, and so did other students. I just remember one day he said to me, he pointed, and he said, you on the second row, could you answer question three? And I wanted to say to him, my name is not you on the second row, it's Isabel. Really, how hard is Isabel to remember and to get to know? Now through the years of being a teacher, I make it my main mission to foster community. And here's what some of my students say now. Hi, my name is Kiana. We all got to know each other and form a close group, including the teacher, which made us comfortable to share and write our work. Hi, my name is Asia Epps Forrest, and the teacher acknowledged who we are and our names and everything. We'll be able to know each other instead of just think about, oh, this is just another student, and I don't know who they are or if we could even be friends. Hi, I'm Janelle. This semester has been fun. We got to know each other even more than we did. So it made us want to come to class even more the way we learned. Community in the classroom deepens the learning experience in that students engage with the material more, with one another, and with the teacher. That is so important. Thus, the tension and fear around higher learning relax since students know that we, the class, as well as the teacher, are all in this. For the students, then, the ego becomes invested important, privileged, since they know they have a group of peers that is listening and learning as a whole. I always tell my students that we're all in this together. How do I create community in the classroom? I do put the chairs in the cliche circle. Some students have confessed later that they rolled their eyes at first and called me the cheesy freedom writer that might make them hold hands and sing kumbaya. But they also expressed at the end of the course that they eventually loved seeing one another's faces rather than the back of a head of the person in front of them. I still lecture when needed. I'm a fair grader. I chastise folks for texting or not listening. But in class, the focus is on the group, not on me as a power figure wielding the red grading pen. I think that's so important. Here's one of my techniques. On the very first day after I've used the syllabus with the students, I give a questionnaire. What are your career goals? What is your major? What are some of your favorite books? I ask two students to pair up and interview each other. The questionnaire tries to appeal to the student's interests and to the course's content. I teach the composition course so the first question asked is, do you like to write? Why or why not? Students interview each other and the conversations then begin. I then ask students to switch and move on to another student to introduce themselves and then interview themselves. After many switches, students return to the original pairing, and we as a class go around the circle and introduce ourselves. Um, this is Thomas Spencer, but he likes uh, to be called Tommy. Um, his career goal I is also called, introduce um, myself and answer the questionnaire. After everyone has introduced another student, we then drill one another's names. Who is this? Brandon. Brandon. Who is this? Thompson. Brandon. Izzy. Tommy. Tommy. Who is it? Tommy. Who is this? Izzy. Izzy. Who's that? Adam. 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 Who's that? Adam. Eddie. Who's this? Adam. Who's this? Adam. Izzy. Who's this? Tommy. Tommy. Now, Tommy, you. So we're getting them down, right? Getting each other's names. And after one day usually an awkward, shy day. We leave the class knowing one another, knowing something about one another, and we are ready to continue together in a learning environment that invites and even welcomes the student and teacher to be part of a communal conversation that informs us all, including me.